My name is Koshin Finley. I am an LA-based artist. Both my parents are fashion designers, so I've been in this creative art world. One of the main things about my art is that it's just kind of honest and kind of raw in its form. It's still got thought to it, and it helped tell the story and add a little more atmosphere into what I'm painting. My name is Delphin Finley. I grew up in Los Angeles, California. My brother was in his senior year of art school. He would always have his paint left over at the house and I would just do like little doodles and stuff. As soon as I started, I knew that was, that was it. I haven't been able to stop since and that's pretty much what I want my life to be. My name is Manny. I'm from Los Angeles, California and um, I'm an artist. I started drawing in middle school. It made me feel like I had something. I just wanted to bring who I am and show them what I can give to everyone and to the planet Earth. I, don't know, I think I have a lot to share. LA is known for its graffiti scene and that's what I see every time I walk out the door. It's very like rugged and Everything's kind of dirty and rusty, but I love it. I've always enjoyed, you know, just like, you know, the look of it, the feel of it. And it's like, it's just interesting to see like, you know, how like geographical it can be. Like, you know, okay, that dude's from East LA, so I know how he writes. You know, that dude's from West LA, he has a very distinct style. There's a skill in being a, a good tagger or whatever, or being, doing good throw-ups. Like that, that to me is impressive when you can do it really well. Because she is, there's nothing like it. Things would come up, things would come down. And I, I was wondering why, like, why couldn't they see what I was seeing? It was, I thought I was seeing something beautiful. It's not, it's not for the rest of the world. And you, for the most part, you're kind of vilified and people don't like you. LA is cracked down on graffiti in a crazy way. I think most graffiti writers just do it for themselves, you know what I mean? They just do it for themselves because that's what they enjoy doing. People like Push, you know, he paints what he paints right now, which will probably be something different later on. It was the first time I seen Push's work. I think it was a banking lot. I just see this, ooh, I see this thing, this ooh, big old thing. And it's just like really filled with colors. It's so influential and he's a genius. And I've just been a, a really big fan of the way that he breaks down his colors and just kind of how intricate it is. It was very, it was very angular and just colorful work. Push is super talented, very humble, and extremely unique in his artistry. This is where Simple Mobile saw the potential and wanted to help him change his game. My parents thought that I would be like an animator, because that's what I used to just draw cartoons. Most of the people that I hung out with were skaters. They got into graffiti somehow, and somehow it happened to me too. That kind of took over my life. You feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but it just takes a while to, for it to happen. Like if you get up enough, people get, you know, they know you and you have a distinct style and you do it enough to where you get recognized to where they actually want to put, you know, your, your art inside of a gallery. As an artist, it is really hard. There's just so much competition. I think known gallery is, I think it's for the street artists trying to become a fine artist. I think it's the best place in LA right now. Having a show at Known Gallery could boost your confidence as an artist. And if you have confidence as an artist, it shows through your work. The support that Casey gives these artists when you take something that's made in a studio, you know, or from a street wall and put it in that context, it, it immediately changes how it's seen. You want to go because they're authentic. You know that everything he puts up, you want to actually go because you're going to see something new. Casey's got a pretty good reputation. So if you're there and he's giving you props and actually giving you a show, it's a good starting point. It did a hell of a job for Patrick, you know? Patrick's involved with Known and his stuff's sold on Known Gallery. This is a guy from East LA. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's selling in Paris. Casey opens those doors for him. We end up having Casey as a teacher in our class. I think he's like a beautiful person. He has a beautiful mind. And he's a madman, crazy genius. With Push on board, the only thing left was to visit Known Gallery where Simple Mobile had arranged a show for him. A show where Push would be able to do something he had never done before, hopefully in an attempt to really change the way people saw his art. The reason we built Known Gallery, the reason that Known Gallery looks like this and we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to build it to look like this was because there was no galleries that would give us shows at that time. 
I started at AWR and MSK when I was 14 years old. We call ourselves the world famous seventh letter crew or AWR MSK crew, but really we're a family. We ran a pretty like um, a pretty organized uh, crew in a sense, but we were all young and we were all coming up and we were all filled with energy and we were around the right stuff. As soon as we formed our crew, then it was then it was like clockwork because we had meetings and we had, you know, we didn't have cell phones and stuff back then, so it was like oh, I would just go to the yard. So that went into like, okay, we're all together now. So we're doing graffiti. Then that meant, from that, it went into like, okay, we're gonna do graffiti and then we're all gonna go out to these clubs or to these parties. And that turned into like, okay, well now we can get money. Because people started seeing like a group of people that worked as a, as a unit. So they started like wanting to work with us, hiring us for different things. And I feel like in 2013, there's a lot of people that came from skateboarding, punk rock, graffiti, you know, all these subcultures that are now in corporate positions and they see, you know, the, the, the beauty in what we do. Nowadays, corporate America isn't as stupid as it used to be. We built Known Gallery to break artists.